Hey everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We are here with a really crazy student. His name is Jack. And Jack's sketchbooks are, I, I want to film them because they are so different. Now, I don't know how much we're going to get to today, but um, Jack, how are you doing? I'm alive. Where are you from? I'm from California. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's just look at, let's look at your work. Tell us a little bit about this piece. Um, these are life drawings. Okay, and what um, medium? What medium are you using? I have this little like portable little paint thing that I got online for like ten bucks, and it's like they all can screw on top of each other, and so it's like I, you know, paint little paint, little like crappy watercolor. Paint and crappy watercolor. Okay. And, like these, I print. I have I have like these office label things, and I printed out melons for the body. Nice. And like. Painted over it too. So you're doing a lot of mixed media. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. So what I want you to do, Jack, is I want you to film through. The, I, I want you to flip through this sketchbook so we can get a feel of what's in there. Okay. All right. So okay. grab whatever sketchbook you want to show me first, okay. or show us, um, and let's just go for it. Okay. So, and, and yeah, don't worry about the pages that you don't like. It, it's just like yeah. it's it's phenomenal yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, stuff. Blurriness. I don't know. These so, are just like character stuff. You've got you can character stuff. I don't know. I do like I like using. I don't really like drawing with a pencil because it's, you're not gonna find a lot of pencil drawings because it's like I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I don't know why. I just don't like drawing with a pencil. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Why don't you flip through it and okay. uh, we'll get a feel for. See what, what what I really like about um, you can keep going. Go at like a like a canvas so we can just like enjoy your sketchbook. Okay. Um, what I really love about Jack's work is that it's completely different than just about any other student that I've ever had in this class. And Jack um, could pretty much be any major that he wants to be. Right now he's an animation major, mm -hmm. and. Um, his work is just so energetic and, and so creative and so diverse and you know I, I would call it a visual orgy uh, it's just it's insanity how much texture line like shape it's a face you can I mean yeah I agree face I don't know I'm sort of like and then, like, I, I just love how his sketchbook is like all over. Oh, wow, look at that page. That, that's like really, really interesting to look at. So, look at this the thin, delicate line. Look at that. Is that like something that you glued to the page? No, those are office labels. Office labels. Like, really creative. Like, well, I, over the summer, I randomly got the idea to use them because I was always. I'm, I haven't really been like doing, I've only been doing it for like a couple of years seriously. And so like, because I've only been doing like, really trying to like draw and stuff for a couple of years, I'm like, I'm not like extremely amazing. At, I wasn't extremely amazing at like doing color and stuff like that. So I would always mess up and so to get around that, I would just like, I would just print stuff on these like labels like Simpsons or little textures like this and stuff. And because, and I can just peel them off and they're like sticky. And it's like, I it's see. Just, and I can just step, stick them like that. And then and, you draw on top of that. Yeah, exactly. And you, like, it's total mixed media. Exactly. And you can, and what's great about it is because if you have like a printer, you can literally do anything. It's like total, and it's like So flip through, show, show us like some more pages um, that you like. This is okay. Um, let me, I'm gonna try to find that. Or just, just flip through it and, and let us, let, let us like just enjoy your sketchbook. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nice. This is, you can show like, this is the printer stuff. Like I printed out some green and black texture thing and ripped it up as you can like, you can see it's like collage -y, I guess. It's, and people have, people have told me that it looks like a collage. And I don't know, I kind of agree. And I kind of like that honestly. Like, yeah. Wow. Um, and I, yeah, I reuse a lot of the textures because like, yeah, you can see it was on the other, on the other side as well. Hmm. Um, I just, I, I just love the linear stuff too. And that, I show that one. That one's unbelievable. This one. Both of them on on both sides. This God, is, look at the texture. Yeah, this is a background for. I was gonna make a GIF and then I never did. But I, I'll use it for something. Maybe. Okay. 
Um, and this is a model from today? No, this is um, a while ago, like um, in the third week, you told us to redraw a model from our memory, from one of our poses, and this was the pose. Nice. The guy like lying down. Wow, look at the hair, look, look, look at the legs. I mean, lots of good, good stuff right there. Line thickness. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. And with this one, I like, I cut out, I cut stuff out and like. Oh my God, that's like, yeah. just, I remember like you were lifting the paper. Yeah, I, I cut stuff out and because ripping up the labels is really time consuming to get everything within the line. So to get around that, I cut, I took an X-Acto knife and cut out shapes and stuck it up really quickly. So it like, it saved a lot of time doing that. Nice. And as well, it added another feature, which is like this raisability. Like, yeah, do you see how, like, do, like, I would never in a million years ever think about doing that in my sketchbook. And that is the reason why I wanted to share Jack's sketchbook with you. Um, because, like, it's just so different than anything that I've, I've ever seen, like, in class and for sketchbooks. Like, it, it's just, like, even this, like, little page alone, like, you can get lost in it. Like, there's a lot of little things. Like, look at that little head. You're, I guess if I had to say like one word, it, it's just total ener energy. It's, it's energy all over the place. And, you know, usually when I film the sketchbooks, it's more traditional, like figure and, and stuff like that. But when I saw this, like I, I was just like blown away at, at like the power, the energy and the diversity of, of everything. And, and you got to appreciate like how different it is. Um, and maybe what, what do you like about what Jack is doing that you can maybe bring into your own work? I, I think it's just, I love, I love messy sketchbooks. I, I really do. This like, is more of a piece. yeah, it, it's just beautiful. Like it's, it's, I'm saying messy in as complimentary a way as I possibly can. Like it's such a beautiful mess, um, that it's just, you can sit here and just enjoy it. Yeah. For a long period of time. I like the thumb. I think the thumb is really funny. I want to use the thumb in like an actual character. Like just have a guy with like a gigantic thumb coming out of his stomach. Like, so now, uh, what is your, what's your dream job? Why are you here at SVA? What do you want to do? Um, I don't really know. I, I mean, I originally wanted to do an industry job, but I don't know if that's what I want to do anymore. Because I wanted to do like cartoon I wanted to be like at Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network because I like cartoons. Like feature films or like animated feature films were like I, w I never really like. It's not that I didn't enjoy them. I just like I didn't. I don't really think the animated features that are really coming out are like they're not really my favorite thing. It's okay. So like I, I I really like some of the stuff that like web content or that people online are doing as well as like some of the stuff that some TV direction they're starting to go in. Like okay. with I like. Gravity Falls a lot. I like the, a lot of the stuff they do on that show. Cool. And like, keep flipping, keep flipping. Yeah. And so originally I wanted to do an industry job, but now I'm sort of like thinking maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe so you're still like thinking and you're still in exploration mode? Pretty much, yeah. Um, I, it's way too fresh. I This is like, this is basically what it, like all my sketchbooks look like before I go over them and paint. It's just a cluster of pen mess. Yeah, that's I, a pen mess. That's a great title. I don't know. It looks like the pen just like it. It, it looks like it could. It looks like it could. If the pen had like a splatter paint feature, it could be that a little bit. And then you like sort of just have to imagine where everything is. Cool. But I sort of like that because that's sort of how I come up with my characters and stuff like that. I'll hmm. look at the ground, like the gravel or something like that, and like just sort of like try to imagine what some of the characters or faces would be in. Because stuff like pops out if you like stare. If you stare oh, yeah. long enough, it'll pop out. That's what I like the most is that when you stare at your artwork, you just keep discovering and keep discovering different things. And I did the, I did the uh, whole thing with this. What's fun about this is because you can even like raise it up, and it's like the character's body is like now the uh, the, next. the anything. Anything can be the character. Like anything can be the character's body. Now. Like the outside New York City window. Exactly, or like that red thing right there. Wow. It's like, yeah. That's, 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 that's and I, I want to do stuff like that with my, in, in animation too. 
That's what's really, really unbelievable about, you know, you're just seeing like a different mind working. It's, it's nuts. And yeah, more printer stuff to tape. I'm gonna like. So what, what I also like, you know, when, when Jack comes to class on like Jack, I, I give him the look and I say, Jack, just try to implement a little bit of what I'm teaching you into your own work, but, you know, still do it in your own way. And, uh, I feel like I do. Yeah, he, you definitely are. You definitely are. I mean, Jack is, I, I would call him like a powerhouse, like he, he just kind of does what he wants to do and, um, and, it, and it works for me as like a teacher because he's implementing the things in a very subtle way in, that I teach in, in his own style. This is the most distracting character ever. Aren't you distracted just by looking at him? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and you can see there's like feet in his clothes. Feet. Yeah. Oh my God. It's just, I, I never in a million years would think about this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know, it's just like, I just sort of do it, and it's just sort of like, there it, there it is, like, well, that, that, and it's just, and the reason I do it is like, it's fun for me to do this sort of the stuff, like, there was a time when my sketchbooks were like, way, like, a lot more generic looking, I'd mm. say, like, very, like, cutesy, cartoony, like, I'm going to make a character animation right now, like, sort of look, and I sort of just got sick of doing that, it, like, I don't know. There's just something. I for a long time I was just frustrated. With Can that. I see that one? Oh yeah, this one's so like I don't know. Let me see the one on the other page where you're just doing that line. I mean, I just love that line. My God. Yeah. For a long time I was doing like this. I was really unhappy with my work, and I sort of like I sort of figured it out is because I felt like I don't know. I guess I just didn't like doing what everybody else was doing, and so I was just like I'm just gonna not do what they're doing, and so I just did it, <laughs> and now I'm doing this. So, yeah. do, you, do you change your styles a lot, or has this been like a style that's been with you for a while? Um, I've been changing my style a lot. Like, six months ago, my style looked like a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Hmm. Um, it's, or not like exactly the same, like a mix between Dr. Seuss and a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Like, I ripped off Dr. Seuss so much when I, in, like, when I was first starting off. Like, the style, I completely ripped it off. Like, using primary solid colors, like, having the characters, like, have no color in them completely, I, I totally, I completely ripped them off. And, like, there's just sort of, like, a point where I got to where I was just like, no, no more. No more of this. I need to, I can't anymore. Mm. And so I just, I, don't know, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, it's really unbelievable that, uh, okay, so here's a traditional homework thing, and uh, I just love the, um, the effort with the torso, torso peanut shape, a little bit more, I mean, you see, when I look at that figure, that, that line is just really, truly amazing. Um, it's so, when I, what I mean by amazing is that you just get lost in it, like you just enjoy it, and it's just so interesting to look at. This is like, more, more finished. This is like, okay, so that was like a, a life drawing of a guy sitting on a bench, and I made him have no clothes because I felt like it. And then I did the cutout thing, and then I, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I printed out pictures. All right, okay, we're back on. Okay, we're back. Okay, this is like this is the last thing in the sketchbook. It's like, uh, yeah, that was my first sketchbook, which I had finished, I don't remember in how many. So yeah, you finished like, it quick because it's week eight next week, so you finished that really early. Yeah, I finished this one in like the third week, I think. Okay. And this one is my current one, which is my third one. My second one is like really all right. So okay, so like, let's go through this one. Yeah, so this is what I've gotten here so far, which is like sort of cartoony, cartoon, cartoon thing, this. This one, this page goes this way, and this one is like the other way. Um, this page is like that, and this page is like that. Okay, hold on. Let me just. Yeah. Appreciate some of this like little. Yeah. The, you see? Do you see what's going on or no? This guy right here. 
there on her face. The guy's body a little bit. It's really, really like hard to get. It's that very one. abstract, no doubt. Yeah. Um, this one, this is like a background sort of thing that I did out of that I did with this texture right here, hmm. the orange one, and this is sort of like yeah, other stuff. Wow. It's just, it's chaos, and I, I just love it. I, I, I like to see people doing completely different things than I do. Yeah, because it, it just, you know, it just opens up your mind a little bit of, of what the possibilities are and to take chances and not to be safe. Yeah. I agree. I mean, but that's good if, if, if you like that. I like to be safe. You don't. You like to take chances, and so I appreciate that in you and in your artwork. And um, that's a really daring thing to do—to take all these chances and just kind of let your feelings come out on the paper. Yeah, I. It's like I said. It's it's more fun for me. Yeah. It's like I like this one though. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd say. I just think that I, I like, I, it's the, I feel like this is like, if I were to make a solid drawing, this is like my definition of a solid drawing that I've done. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, characters. What's that? This? Yeah. Oh, this? Yeah, um, yeah. This is over by uh, Stuyvesant. It's over by uh, the FDR and 18th Street. It's, there's this like, it's by the East River. It's okay. like, there's just this walkway and I just yeah, drew the Cool. Thing. Yeah. Um, there's just some, there's some life drawings. Guy with a hat, person. These were done yesterday. Um, now, you're gonna get a lot of questions on YouTube um, from people about your mediums and all that. You'll answer all that maybe if you have time, if you can go and check out some of the comments under your video. Yeah, I mean, I have a YouTube channel, so I could just answer that Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah. I did these ones in your class today, actually. Um, just, it's like, character stuff. And for class, for homework, we had to, like, storyboard a scene out of a movie, so I did Wayne's World. The scene where they're playing hockey, and they're like, Game on! Game on! <laughs> You know. <laughs> oh, I got, I'm playing hockey tonight at 8 o'clock and I woke up at 5.30 in the morning. I don't know how I'm going to play. It's like, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's crazy. Crazy. Okay. Well, this is, these are just scenes from Wayne's World. So they're not like yeah. imagination drawings, but they're still like, it's something I had to do. All right. Why, why don't you share with us, because we're coming down to the end here, share with us a couple in your big pad. Okay. Like maybe some that you did today or ones that you really, show us this page. That looks really, really this, I wow. did, this was last week. Um, that's a life drawing of a guy standing, clearly. Um, I don't know, and I made it, he's on things that are above in the air, I guess, I don't know. Nice. That's, I guess that's sort of like, a, I, I really wanted to like, I want to do more, I want to make this animation style where it's like, where it's like, you have these, there's no, um, outline and it's you've got these elevated stuff on that and it's all done by hand and this is like a dog that's inc I, I i don't know if you can appreciate it on this video but yeah there's all different like elevations to it i'm, I'm trying to and actually the, look at it the way it's supposed to, the way it was originally done was like the elevation on here was supposed to like make it so that this this like part of his back was sort of like behind a little bit Nice. Because I'm sort of like making it go over a little bit, but it's like it sort of got crushed because of like you know, yeah. I, Show I, us a couple more. Show us before we're at the end of this sucker. Okay. Um, more stuff. The stuff I was doing today was a lot. Was like good. This is a good page. This uh, is a solid. I mean, page. do you guys not see the energy in that flipping page? That is nuts. Um, and this is also a one. These were the last two pages I did today, actually. And this was like that was the last pose that I did today. Hmm. And during the time you gave us to do gestures I colored it in. God. All right. Well, Jack, is there anything else that you want to share before we end this sucker? Um, I don't know. All right. Well, 
Follow I, my blog. Follow my art blog. I will Give put me followers. I will. I, Jack, thank you for sharing your sketchbook. Um, this video is going a little too long right now, so I'll post Jack's. You'll see it on the comment, in the comments, on the comments, whatever, on YouTube. See you soon. Visit DTO Drawing Tutorials Online.com. Talk to you soon.